what's up you guys i'm coming at you looking like a mess in the h&m dressing room right now because i am frazzled that my first day at the state department is tomorrow and i have like a last minute freak out of like wanting to have good enough business clothes i know h&m isn't like the best quality stuff blah 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 i really like this outfit sans my leggings aren't they cool though they're fabletics obviously black bodycon dress with this kind of light oatmeal long line blazer and I really like it so I think I'm gonna wear this with black tights and black heels but I'm still trying things on so I'm unsure I'm just going all in I'm in a shopping mood so yeah that's what this vlog is me starting my internship at the State Department tomorrow at 7 30 a.m so excited um I just I'm like okay 6 15 they close at 7 I look dead I've been sitting in a classroom for eight hours today because all weekend I've been in this like one credit skills institute intensive course at my grad school. I finally finished that. <sighs> Deep breaths. Now I'm in H&M trying to get some stuff. I need to go grocery shopping because I'm not gonna have time this week. Here we go, hit the ground running. Really into this look. I also posted a poll on my Instagram story for my fit Instagram. If you guys follow me on there, I, I don't know how I feel about this one. It's like also a long line blazer. I was getting kind of clueless vibes from it, but it's like more old man-ish than that. So I don't know. But let's see what the poll, oh, the poll is saying not. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like it could work. This lighting is very gross. I'm gonna keep trying things on though, because I got a lot to get through. Good morning, crusty crew. It's so early. I need coffee. It's great. Good morning to my animatronic mirror. Of course I'm hydrating this morning. Okay, I'm all ready. This is what I'm wearing. Everything is H&M, this bodycon dress, it's hard to see. And this blazer I got yesterday at H&M, so you could probably still get them. And I'm wearing black tights and little like, naturalizer booties with it. I kind of feel like it's missing something, like a belt or a necklace. But I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a lift today instead of trying the Metro just because I don't want to be late on my first day. I thought I had a skinny black belt, but whatever. Did some meal prepping last night, so I have a lunch, which I'm gonna throw in my backpack. And we're off, like first day. Okay, you guys, I'm at CVS right now. Really exciting stuff. Um, it's like lunchtime kind of between things. So I had orientation this morning and it went really, really well. Paperwork, met people. There was like 60 of us in this orientation. So it was really cool to talk to other people and see like what kind of things they're gonna be doing. I'm walking to another office after lunch and I stopped here because I have a pretty intense headache, which is really unusual. Like I never get headaches. So terrible timing. I kind of think I'm getting sick which is not ideal. Cheap headache relief. This is good enough, right? Something that will relieve my headache. So that's the goal. I only have a few hours left till I need to leave for class anyway. So we're gonna head over to my office and meet the people in my office. And then I have class tonight. I made it, I survived my first day. You guys, it was so good. 12 hours ago, I was just about to leave and I was so nervous, but it went really well. Can't really say anything about it. Like, obviously you guys know it's a government agency. Just can't tell you much at all. I'm not saying that to be like, <laughs> it's so exclusive. This is why I'm not gonna explain much because normally I would. I definitely made me feel a lot better about it. It was more relaxed than I expected and just like the people I met were really awesome and the people I went to my specific department got my own cubicle and all that. I've never had a cubicle before, this is a big deal. This is like real corporate America, even though the government's not a corporation, so I guess federal America. <laughs> just ready for all the work to begin and yeah i think i showed my outfit this morning but this is what it looks like 12 hours later <laughs> so tired it's been quite a day i went to class after and um luckily we didn't meet the whole time because we just like reported back of the research we've done so far and basically we were like we should do more research yep we're gonna do it all again tomorrow i'm not gonna wake up at 5 45 this time because i don't have to be there as early i cooked a bunch of food last night so i wouldn't have to cook throughout the week so i think i'm gonna have probably some ground turkey tacos a very 
staple thing of mine. Sorry, I I probably just sound dead because my voice, like I said, like I feel like I'm getting a little sick. And so I've been like coughing a little bit. Not good. I just sound like bleh. I'm gonna take off these damn heels. I stayed them all day. I didn't do that much walking, just like around the metro and stuff. I'm gonna take off these damn heels. I stayed them all day. I didn't do that much walking, just like around the metro and stuff. I haven't picked my outfit for tomorrow yet, but I think I might wear my red blazer. I might go a little bold. Is that too soon? Maybe I should hold off. Oh, my feet feel so much better. It's just so weird to be like working somewhere full time. Like I'm gonna be there like all day, every day. That's the reality of real jobs. It's weird, even though this isn't even a real job. I wanna get out of these clothes and be comfy, so um, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm in sweats now and I'm so happy. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna make some cauliflower gnocchi. What else is new? It just sounds good, like comfort food pasta, even though it's not like real pasta. Mondays are probably, it just is just me thinking ahead. Um, I haven't worked out since Friday, which is really sad because it's like three days resting in a row. It's so, like, I want to work out. I know I'm that bitch. It's annoying. Oh, the Noki's flying. But I just haven't been able to because I was on campus all weekend for my like skills institute. I'm thinking Mondays are probably just going to be my rest days in general in the future. I might go to like classes after work. A new normal. Try and figure out how I'm going to be a YouTuber while I'm in a government place full time where I can't talk about I'm sorry I don't seem excited. I'm just like low energy because it's been a long ass day and I'm slightly sick, but I've already made these excuses. So I am really, really excited about this whole semester though. Okay, yeah. And I've got Noki on the stove. So really one more could I uh, one more could I ask for. Just got ready for day two. Just need to get dressed and have breakfast. Definitely not as cute as yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I don't know, I changed a couple times and then I panicked, so everything's from H&M except the shoes. They're like old from Kathy Jean or something, which I don't love this top. I don't know. I don't love this outfit, but it's fine. You know what? Second impressions aren't as important. I'm going to grab my lunch and head out for the day. It's such a nice day. It's literally 70 degrees out, so I came outside for lunch and I just grabbed coffee because I needed it. And look. Dun, dun, dun. What's up you guys? Oh god. <clears throat> Again with the um cough. I'm starting to lose my voice. So that's not good. It is the next morning now, day three, and I am spraying my feet with bandage spray. I guess I hadn't worn them in a while. I mean I wore them like when I was interning last semester. Um and like there was no problem mostly because you know you're sitting most of the time to get to my last internship i really didn't have to walk the metro station was like in the plaza and yesterday i after getting off the metro i walked like at least 10 minutes and my feet were already starting to hurt like halfway through the walk i think i might do the thing where i like wear comfy shoes and then change them in the future but for now i'm spraying my blisters with bandage spray this is new skin it's gonna hurt like a, you basically spray it and it becomes like a band-aid layer and it protects your skin but if you're spraying it over an already formed blister it really really stings best thing is if you know that you're gonna wear shoes that kind of rub on parts of your feet sometimes then spray them before because then it'll protect it from blistering if you're dumb like me you do this i'm gonna leave in probably like 20 minutes or so it's gonna hurt this one is gonna hurt i would show you but that's gross Okay, it's not so bad at first, and then it builds up. <laughs> Me torturing myself on camera for five minutes. I still have yet to find the comfiest, but most professional shoes to wear. Cause I like wearing heels, honestly. Not like stilettos, but just walking to and from. That's not gonna fly. Resolve is still high on the first week. <laughs> it was good being there for my first full day. Uh, I was only there for a couple hours the first day because of the orientation it took so much time before and I had to leave early for class. So like getting a feel for it, um, getting my bearings still. Today, to protect my feet from blistering more, I'm gonna wear socks and booties. It's so hard for me to like not be able to vlog much. Um, I don't know. I'm still getting used to it. I've now gone three days without working out, which is a lot for me. I was gonna go to the gym last night, but then I ended up having to do this like time consuming paperwork stuff, so I didn't get a chance. My appetite has decreased so much, and it's so interesting. I mean, obviously, it's like, okay, you work out, you're a little hungrier, but usually I only take like a day off, maybe two in a row. So, like, having three full days, like, my body's actually adjusted to using less calories. 
and I honestly like, like don't even get hungry like after four hours of like being at my desk and it's lunchtime I like wasn't even hungry and it's so interesting because like usually I'm I just know that I have this monster appetite just like how a couple days versus one day of rest if you take a couple more like at least for me this is just personal like I really notice a difference in my appetite but it's still cycle tonight and I know it's gonna make me hungry but I need exercise also. I'm gonna go and get dressed now that my band-aids are dry on my feet and I'll see you when I'm dressed. Here's the outfit. I'm pretty sure I wore this recently like for my practicum meeting or something like that, but whatever. This pink blouse is from H&M. These black pants are from Urban. The booties are from H&M, which yeah, I think they're borderline like not professional enough, at least for me. Like I think it'll be fine in the office. This coat is from Shein, so I'm just wearing it because it's cold. And I just printed out a form I need to fill out. Oh, hello, son. Good morning, Baltimore. Paperwork for the bureaucracy. The most stereotypical meal prep meal I make. Oh, that's all my gnocchi. <laughs> I bring an entire thing of like three servings of cauliflower gnocchi. Sometimes I use them just as normal Tupperware. Asparagus, bell pepper, and then some sweet potato and some chicken. I want to get more creative with my meal prep so I'm not eating the same thing every single day. I was just in a rush on Sunday when I was meal prepping at like 9 p.m. And we're off for another day of public service. <laughs> this is my life now starting to rain now, but I just left um, work kind of. My supervisor invited me to come like to a meeting with him and then Gio, so it was really cool and I got to just like sit on the meeting and I learned a lot. It was like 4.15, I usually leave after five. They were like, well, should we go back? And then he was like, I won't tell if you don't tell. So I was getting really tired, so I need coffee. So I just was like. Definitely did not get enough sleep last night. Mobile ordered a nice cold brew with a shot of espresso. But I have about an hour until my soul cycle class. Christy. Thank you. That was such a good soul cycle class. Um, I went to Jonas. Something about it just actually spoke to my soul today, and I just had this like moment of just like being really, really grateful for where I am and like the opportunities I have right now. I don't know, something just like clicked. I've almost hit a thousand calories for the day. According to my watch, people always comment, your watch is so inaccurate, like don't pay attention to those calories, don't eat them back. And I don't, I don't really pay attention to it, so I don't know why people like freak out about it. It might not be accurate, but I do know that it's consistent. Like I can tell day to day. Wearing my soul cycle clothes with my like business booties and walking in the rain. It was just a great combination. I just got a box from Just Fab. I'm not gonna go into it in this video. You guys, I was so excited when I learned that Just Fab has more than just shoes. I thought it was always shoes. I got a couple jackets. I'm really excited. I'm not gonna show you in this video. I know I just said I wasn't gonna show you what I got just yet, but I'll do a little preview. So cool. I got this big army coat, so it's like this is the style, it's got a cinch waist, you can cinch it in and then it has pockets. It's like fingertip length, maybe a little longer, and it has a big collar. I got it in a 2X because that was all that was left. And I wanted to be able to wear it like this, like off the shoulder. I think it was Remy, honestly, that had an army jacket that she got like big like this, or maybe it was denim or something, and it just looked really cool on her. I'll probably wear it like this. I'm really into this, it's lightweight, but also like heavy duty, like it feels really good quality. Yay, I'm really excited to wear this on the few days when I'm not wearing business clothes in the next three months. I realized that I vlogged in H&M when I was trying stuff on, but I never showed you guys what I got. Play that funky music, high mirror. It's the national anthem we need. Not sponsored by H&M, I bought this all with my own money. Honestly, for the quality, I think it's a good value. I know it's not Ann Taylor Loft or freaking like nice places. I don't know. I'm just someone when it comes to material things, I don't want, I'm not trying to sound like high and mighty here. Um, but when it comes to things like clothes, I would much prefer quantity over quality. And I know a lot of people are not like that. YouTubers at least are like, I just really like investing in, you know, a few nice pieces. But I'm like, I really don't care. Like give me the cheapest thing on the racket. I'd just rather have more options. That being said, I probably will um, start to collect a few more nicer, like staple business clothes into my wardrobe as I spend more time, you know, at the State Department every day. But for now, this is like a little more of a starter kit. I, honestly, my experience in my sorority 
really helped me with my business attire, which is kind of funny um, because they changed the rules while I was there. When I was a freshman, like from day one, every chapter meeting, we had business casual, not business casual, what do they call it? Badge attire. So you had to wear business clothes, you had to look nice and presentable, and they taught you how to dress. And it sounds superficial, but it's so, so useful because like, when else do you really learn that built like good professional like business habits in me, I guess. My last semester they changed the rules and like, you guys can wear casual clothes to chapter because every other chapter did. And everyone was like, oh my God, yay. But honestly, I think it's a setback because then those like freshman girls aren't learning early on. Okay, anyway, that was a rant. This skirt, it's like a black paper bag tie waist skirt. It's like kind of fitted. The waist ties, but it's not really that. It's not like elastic or anything. I got this in a size eight. I'm very standard size eight in most clothing. I also got the things I already showed you guys in this video, like my whole outfit from my first day, basically. Same dress, you couldn't really see it because it was dark when I was filming it and it's a black dress. So it's hard to see the details anyway. Um, but the one I wore the first day, I got it in this color too because I love the fit of this dress. It's so comfortable and flattering for like a tight dress like this. I don't really know how to describe them because they don't have names, but it's this little cap sleeve, like bodycon. I don't know what the term is for bodycon when it's like businessy because it's not the same. I think this would be really cute with my pink blazer or just like a little pop of color. Super lightweight little blouse, button up. I just wear it with a cami underneath. Same one in black. This one's a little less sheer, it looks like. It's a different fabric. This one's a little more businessy feeling. Bag, waist, pants. I really like this kind of pattern, the like gray that's made up of little tiny black and white grids for some reason. And ultimately I was like, this is out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna do it. What's funny is I haven't worn this to the internship yet. I was talking to my supervisor in his little cubicle and he had his blazer hanging up on the wall and it looked just like this, like it was the same pattern and color. And I was like, LOL, imagine if we wore this all the same day. I think this would be cute with like the fitted black dress to kind of balance out something that's like more feminine. But yeah, that's what I got from H&M. My camera's dying now. I need to eat, my body's gonna hate me. I thought it was really cool that I got to like go somewhere else and sit in on a meeting already just for my third day. Thursday, day four. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I have nothing else to say, but I thought I'd try my outfit. This is a little turtleneck from Shein, my black pants, and I'm wearing the booties again. Blazer is from Shein as well. So, kind of like a black and pink look. I'm so warm right now indoors. I need to go outside. <laughs> the end of the day now, I'm walking to Solid Core. I'm almost there. Sign up for another workout class. It's honestly convenient just because there's like great studios walking distance set in like Foggy Bottom, West End. So I feel like very ill prepared. I'm like still in the looking at my computer doing research mindset. It's Friday now. I left, just left work, and look at the sunset. I'm in Arlington now, but the sky's so pretty. I wore my tennis shoes because I'm going straight to the gym right now. I completed my first full week. It went by actually fast. Like, I can't believe it's Friday and out so we can. What's up, you guys? It is now a Saturday, my first free day in a while, because um, last weekend I was at school all weekend. Sorry, I'm right by the road. It's really loud. Sorry, the light's like really weird. I'm walking to go meet a girl named Monica, who I met, and she actually like has experience with the state department and everything, and we're gonna hold for cars. We're gonna hold for cars. <laughs> we're gonna grab like coffee brunch kind of thing. It's getting cold again. It literally got to like 60s, like 65 degrees this week and it was amazing. And now it's like 30 again. So East Coast, summer rains, you can never predict them. I love using that reference. There we go, now we're behind a wall so maybe it won't be as loud. I have some catch up work I need to do for my capstone. After sitting at a desk and researching for like eight hours, I don't really feel like going home and researching for my class. So I need to do that this weekend. And I edit this vlog for you guys. So this is pretty much like, I've decided it's just like my first week kind of vlog, my first week of my internship. I didn't think I was gonna feel as like welcome and comfortable and just included in the team as I, I do. And it's just a really good feeling and I'm really excited for all there is to come. It's not as scary as I thought. My thoughts on my first week at the State Department. I think I might actually end this vlog here so then I can start a new one. Love you guys so much, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog this week. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm so